welcome to my channel study of philosophy in this video i will explain deceptor tree that is observation and experiment of as second year logic and philosophy this video i'll be discussing about observation conditions of observation and fallacies of observation so let's get started what is observation observation is regulated perception of facts and circumstances with a definite purpose in view if we analyze this definition of observation then we find certain characteristics of it number 1 observation is perception observation it involves perception in perception we obtain knowledge through our different sense organs such as eyes ears nose etc so in case of observation we have to perceive things the second characteristic is that observation is regulated perception in observation our sense organs come in contact with various things and events and we get knowledge directly so a casual or careless perception cannot be observation there must be a definite purpose behind our perception so observation it is a regulated perception thirdly observation is a regulated perception of events with a definite purpose in view in the previous characteristic i have already said that there must be a definite purpose in case of observation so there must be a definite purpose behind our perception so the regulated perception with a definite purpose is called observation number 4 observation is always selective although we observe various things in our daily life we do not pay attention to all of them observation is selective in the sense that the observer pays attention to significant things and aspects of things therefore observation is always selective now the conditions of observation what is the aim of induction the aim of induction is to establish a general real proposition to establish that general real proposition induction depends on observation of particular instances so to establish a regulated perception or to observe properly we have to uh, there are certain conditions of observation these are intellectual condition physical condition and moral condition so what is intellectual condition craving for knowledge is the intellectual condition in observation for correct observation the observer must be intellectually fit it means that the observer must be attentive to know the reason of an event that is the intellectual condition next the physical condition physical condition it consists in sound sense organs supplemented by scientific instruments sense organs play a very important role for correct observation if the body is not sound then the sense organs have chances of making mistakes therefore healthy organs are the physical conditions for correct observation next moral condition impartiality or keeping oneself free from prejudices 
preconceptions superstitions etc is the moral condition in observation so what is that impartiality impartiality is regarded as the moral condition of observation so to observe properly we have to oh, maintain these three general conditions of observation now the fallacies of observation according to mill the fallacy of observation is of two kinds one is the fallacy of non observation and the other is the fallacy of mal observation what is fallacy of non observation fallacy of non observation is the fallacy of overlooking something which ought to have been observed it is again of two kinds one is the fallacy of non observation of instances and the other is the fallacy of non observation of essential circumstances the what is the fallacy of non observation of instances fallacy of non observation of instances is a fallacy where we ignore instances which are relevant to our enquiry that means it is a fallacy where we overlook instances which are relevant to our investigation this kind of fallacy may take place due to bias or preconceived opinions and inattention to negative instances for example when you say the sneezing before departure is the cause of accident it is a fallacy of non observation of instances secondly fallacy of non observation of essential circumstances on the other hand fallacy of non observation of essential circumstance it is a fallacy in which we overlook essential circumstances in our inductive enquiries for example a man falls ill a physician asks him to take some medicines the man takes the medicine and recovers from illness he comes to the conclusion that the medicine alone is the cause of his recovery here he ignores other important circumstances that means the essential circumstances such as diet nursing and so on here he commits the fallacy of non observation of essential circumstances fallacy of mal observation what is the fallacy of mal observation fallacy of mal observation is the fallacy which arises due to the wrong interpretation of sense perception it is again of two forms one is the individual fallacy of mal observation and the other is the universal fallacy of mal observation so individual fallacy of mal observation is that in which the mistake is committed individually for example when we a mistake a rope for a snake in the dark that is known as the individual fallacy of mal observation secondly the universal fallacy of mal observation what is the universal fallacy the mal observation in which the mistake is committed universally is called universal fallacy of mal observation for example when looking out of the window of a moving railway train we sometimes imagine that the train is at rest while the trees and the hills at a distance are all running in the opposite direction here we commit the fallacy of universal mal observation that's all for today students if you have any queries about the topic discussed please leave a comment in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon 
so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you.